Hey guys, welcome to today's guitar lesson. Very glad to see you today. Um, we're gonna have a really cool lesson. This is gonna be over single string scales. It's more of a kind of a fretboard knowledge lesson as opposed to something technical that we've gone over. You can go you know, a few videos back and we have a few of those lessons there if you wanna check them out. But this one is gonna be strictly on understanding the fretboard and it's kind of a cool little trick that I know and that I would love to share with y'all. Before we get started, totally free guys. Like and subscribe, helps the channel out a whole lot. If you wanna go a little bit further, these tabs will be available for purchase for one dollar, one dollar. Okay, it's not much. Um, you know, I put some good work into making the tabs into the video. If you guys want the tabs, by all means, it's just a PayPal and you'll get an automatic download of the PDF. Now, also, before we get started, check out Zounds, guys. They send all these beautiful guitars. I got this beautiful Gibson ES335. I love this guitar. Sounds great. And I think it's perfect for this lesson because we need a really nice, clean tone. So without further ado, let's start with this lesson. So first off, I want you guys to, we're gonna learn a single string scale. And so instead of doing scales like, instead of doing something like that, I want us to play just on one string. So we're gonna start with a fifth string, okay? Cause this is, uh, this, this lesson is very applicable, applicable on the fifth string because we need a string below and a string above to kind of get the full, full gist of it. Of course, you can apply it to anything, but if, if you want to apply the whole thing, we're going to want a string that has one string below and one string above. So let me demonstrate. C major scale. We've got third fret, fifth, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 15. It's a single string C major scale. I want you to practice that. You can practice it however you want. Again, it's not a technical exercise. The, the formula for the major scale is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, that's what helps me remember. So again, we've got this. Back down. Very cool. I would suggest that you master that first. After that, we're going to add thirds to it. Our first chord, C, first note, C, we have a major third. So we've got second fret on the fourth string. That's our first third if we're, if we're relating it to our root note, C. Next, we're gonna have a minor. So that means we have a minor third interval because we have F here. Next is another minor. So again, keep in mind the shapes. We have uh, a fret in between. And then when it's major, we have no fret in between. They're just one fret apart. This one's two frets, one, two frets apart. So check this out. We got major, major, Minor, minor, major, minor, minor. And then we have two more majors. And keep in mind, I'm still playing the C major scale on the lower note. So on the fifth string, I'm still playing, just adding that third. Next one is minor. Next one is diminished, but we can use that minor interval. And we'll get into diminish once we get to the fifth. So there's your diminished, and then here's back to your root. So same thing as the very first note. So one more time. So that's kind of cool when you wanna <clears throat> do like maybe a few cool double stops, like, uh, and I'm gonna change the key here. Or like maybe, some, let's say I'm playing something in minor. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's kind of cool to incorporate that. You can also do it on the upper strings to help with harmonies, like solo harmonies. For example, same pattern. I'm in E major, but it's still the same pattern. We got major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminish, but we use that minor third, and then major. So for instance, we could go. Sounds kind of uh, Mexican, but you get the drift. Now we're gonna add the fifth. <clears throat> and we're gonna focus again on the lower strings before we get to the higher strings. That'll probably be like a part two video. Okay, because it changes just a little bit because of the relation between G, B, and E, the three top strings. But here, again, just really wanna drill that over and over so you get the hang of that sound. Now we're gonna add the fifth. Now the fifth makes it sound really cool. It completes the whole chord because a chord, you need the first, third, and the fifth. So we've got the root and the third. To add the fifth, all we do is we're gonna play the note underneath the root. Right there, because that's our G. So what I do is I typically use third, first, and second. Second being on my sixth string, third is on my fifth, and my first finger is on my fourth string. So now we have something like this. We have a major, minor, and remember the fifth stays the same. Minor, major, major, minor. Now diminished is different, okay? But it's real easy. All we do is instead of the fifth or your second finger being right next to your third finger, we're just gonna move it back one fret. So instead of like this, our second finger is gonna drop down to the 13th fret. So instead of the 14th fret, second finger, we're gonna drop it down to the 13th fret. And then we're gonna resolve. Okay, so one more time through the scale with the fifths included. So now we have root, third, and fifth. Coming back down. That is so cool. So it kind of helps me, in a way, navigate. It helps a lot of other guitar players navigate through the fretboard. So for instance, let's say I'm still in C. And I'm just doing a solo, right? Whatever. Now I know here's my fifth and here's my sixth. Could throw something on like that. And you know, you could be creative in a whole bunch of different ways. Okay, so go ahead and try that out for yourself. See what you think. Check out the PDF tabs down below, guys. Like I said, it's a dollar. Or, you know, you don't have to buy them, and hopefully I explained it well enough for you. But I showed this to one of my students uh, maybe about a week, two weeks ago, and he was absolutely blown away. Loved this concept, and I thought I would share it with you all. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace, and take care. Many blessings.